Okay, we are back with some Eden's Azir. And of course, this is chapter six. Chapter five, we were in 50 years ago. We were in 50 years ago, not we're 50 years in the past, just we're in 50 years ago. So yes, let's have a look. So last time you met Thrans, I think his name was. I haven't read it in a bit, so yes. <laughs> Okay, so chapter 6, Thief. A long-awaited first volume will be released for sale on September 14th, Friday. A special edition will also come out, so please look forward to it. Of course, it's a special edition that we watched, let's say, read in the last video. <laughs> There's like Cheshire Cat in it, like me. Give your strongest smile. Smile with all you got. It's good how they've got the background of the place that they're in. Because a lot of the time it's just like a random background thing. And how come they haven't got automated phones that just hover? Like they've got all this technology, they've got spaceships, and then they haven't got phones that could just like hover and take a selfie. That's one thing I can't understand with some of these, because it's like, you don't have this, but you have this. Like in Batman, or Spy in Spider-Man, it's like, uh, Spider-Man 3000, we finally developed a cure for cancer. And it's like, haven't you already done that in Spider-Man? You've created a fucking man-spider all this other shit. It's kind of weird. So yes, digressing from that. We will continue. So yes, I'd like to see how this person from Rebecca's past came to be. And I have a feeling he's going to be like a mainstay character. I don't think they're going to have him there and then just shove him to the side. Because that seems a bit funny. Did I accidentally skip forward? Did we skip forward? I... Yeah? <laughs> what happened last chapter? I'm so bad at remembering. I swear last chapter we met Strans. Have I accidentally clicked on the wrong chapter? No, nope, we're definitely in 50 years ago. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So yes, now I remember. They got accosted by the baddies, didn't they? In this big fucking suit. The planet Norma. From 50 years ago. On the dying planet Shiki and the others. Get in the middle of trouble while travelling. But they can't punch the fuck out of someone. Because it's 50 years ago. He's like, eh. What's this big fucking doing? <laughs> pew, pew. Where's Weiss? I'm going to sound very Jamaican now. <laughs> The story so far, Shiki and Rebecca set sail to meet Mother, the giant space goddess, but first they visit Professor Weiss on Island Norma in order to obtain a spaceship that can withstand the voyage. However, they meet the young Professor Weiss. Upon visiting Professor Weiss's house, somehow they end up coming to the planet Norma for 50 years ago. Then Shiki and the others get wrapped up in trouble in... The trouble the young voice caused. I like how it's, it's always shicky. It's always the bloke. In, even though Rebecca was the one that was more focused on to begin with. But we don't know. He's a shitty bastard who stole my money. Huh. Are you lot shitty bastards too? Oh, fuck off. eBay. No. A boy who lived with robots on the planet Granbell. He inherited gravity ethar gear from the Devil King. Pion Pion. I get it, I get it. The words I was using ain't that dirty. <laughs> he said shitty a lot and bastards a lot. That guy's talking with that bird. Well, we are talking to a cat, you know. <laughs> Shibarsa. Let's do them in. Shut up for a second, would you? Will ya? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I get it already. We should run away. But why? <laughs> Rebecca, a female bee cuber. Who, one who creates videos. She belongs to the Adventures Guild. Shooting Starlight, located in Blue Garden. Happy, a blue cat, Rebecca's best friend. He died in an accident but came back to life as a machine. He can also transform into pair of blasters. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? 
If we're in the past, then we shouldn't change anything. The future will change if we get involved in anything here. I'm guessing so the stuff that you've done has already happened out you won't exist. That's one thing I never get. So they must have gone to the past in the first place to, for this stuff to happen in the future. I never get that. Because then it's like, well, how did they get to this point in the future if you didn't go to the past? And how did you get to the past if you weren't in the future? It's very weird. I don't re really get it, but I guess we should escape them. Hey, guys! They're trying to escape! You ain't running away. Get them! Don't tell me. We're going flying, I bet. Are we gonna fall sideways? Oh, what's that reference to? I kind of remember something like that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it looks so much like Futurama or something. They flew. Shoot them! Fairy tale done by Hiro Mashima with bullet shit. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't gonna end well for you. Then again, it seems like the most deadly weapons don't do jack shit. <laughs> it's the most simplest weapons that do stuff. Yeah, you've already destroyed the past with all that shit coming at you. <laughs> it's always the men on sight. Oh my god, what would have happened if that did hit you in the front? Chicky, die! I will robo punch the fuck out of you. Ugh. Not like this. I never get, they have kind of this moment where it's like, oh no, Sarah's going to die. And then later, they'll have a moment of just empowerment where they're just like, I will beat you the fuck up. It's like, what? A minute ago, you were just accepting death without doing anything, really. That is the biggest fucking brawl fist ever. Look at that. He earned some major respect there. What? Huh? <laughs> Ooh. No way! I'm being pushed back! Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> they always got a little fucking tight thing with them, aren't they? Oh, I love the explosions. BAM! Motherfucker, you are on the floor. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Gah. It's so cocky. I'd like him to have used his like feet more because you had a lot a lot a lot let's say pretty much all of that Sue's attacks with fists use some deku use your feet ah oh, crap i should have done that really your power knows on limit huh we should hide somewhere right now no because he's even more powerful when he doesn't have the suit bum 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 Pew. don't say it I know. That guy's definitely gonna come back. Definitely. Because he wants to fight Sandria to Bunny Bar. <laughs> Look at this really and I got it to Bunny Girl. If she actually got Benny ears. Oh she's just a Playboy bunny. He definitely has that magnitude for the ass. Oh my god, it looks like that fucking character out of Final Fantasy twelve. What's your order, boy? <laughs> She's even got rabbit hands! Oh my god. Oh. I like it all, how all the men, the men monsters are ugly as sin, but the women monsters have to be fucking beautiful. Go and get su don't get surprised every time you see, a see aliens. Aliens? They may look different. But the aliens who live among humans have a language and culture close to our own. Oh. Strictly speaking, you're an alien too from our point of view. Well, you did come from another planet, so yes. Like our Punisher dogs in the background. <laughs> aliens. Alien friends. Be friends with me! Stop that! I'd like to get a handle of our situation for, me for now. I get it, I get it. The professor stole something and escaped. And we're 50 years in the past, right? We're in quite the pickle. All we can do is eat. That's so. <laughs> like how she's the role reversal. It's like, yeah. Instead of him eating all the time, it's her eating. Actually, Professor Weiss told me about this bar. He said that this is 
This place is something like a hideout for him. That's why. I thought just maybe. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, because he didn't notice who was sitting down next to. <laughs> he must be about 20 or something. Huh? It's you guys. How do you know this place? Wait, wait. Listen to us for a bit. He's like a slick cool guy. You have to have a slick cool guy. <laughs> He's grey, basically, in this universe. We still need our elves there. <laughs> so, I fixed a cat on your benefactor, and you guys came from 50 years in the future. See? Look at this. You're kidding me! My hair! My hair's so thin! Well, if you tell me all this, all of a sudden it's kind of hard to believe. That's true. Anyway. At least I know that you guys ain't with Cyber. The one thing I don't get though, the transition from the last chapter to this chapter is very, very weird. Or did I miss something? Did I forget something? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, it's been so long. Did I get a chapter modeled up? But then again, it said chapter 6 at the beginning, and I just looked at chapter 5. Ah! And my internet's gone to shit again. He's like, yeah, you old motherfucker. You old. See, look, they can use a projector thing like that, so can't they use a projector thing like that to take a selfie? And use an auto queue or something demand. There we go. <laughs> we we'll definitely need your help if we want to get back home to our time, Professor. Like I said, I'm not a professor. When will you become a professor? Come on, grow up. <laughs> the heck if I know. By the way, why exactly did you steal from them? Huh? Something in a box. Is that the case? It has nothing to do with you. But stealing is bad, right? <laughs> yeah, it's very bad. Very, very bad. That's where the bad guys coming after you. Oh, but you know, in Grandma there's a job called Thief. A thief is... Who are those guys anyway? It's none of your business. Bidness. <laughs> you shouldn't poke your nose into my business anymore. If you really came from the future, then all the more reason not to. Don't do any more damage to this error. Mm, no, they're gonna do damage by taking you out of the error somehow. Because I bet he's gonna go with them. Be a good kid and go to the future. I told you, we don't know how. My case is gone. But Happy's ran away with it or some shit. Oh no, Shiki. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cheeky. I job changed into a thief. Or did I? <laughs> or did I? I might have stolen something, but I don't know. I might have not stolen something. <laughs> oh, I love it. You bastard. So, what's in here? Beep, 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 beep. Gah! Shiki! What was that? My peril suddenly disappeared. My money! That ain't no money. That looks like a cabane. That looks like a cabane. Oh, we're gonna have a Chobits moment. Is it gonna be. Do you know the little fucking things in Chobits? What was her name? Oh my god. What was her name? The little things in Chobits that his mate had. Fucking hell. I can't remember her name. I cannot remember her name. You handled me quite roughly, master. Oh, look, she's got a little thingy leg. Like. I thought that was going to be a rabbit. Nah. You're kind of ugly cute. I'll give you that. <laughs> Sounds bad, but... Yeah. Oh, is that going to be the new his little symbol thing for having her little lightning bolt? It's like she's missing a leg, though. You might want to get that fixed, mate. There's a small robot in the case. Looks like the group is heading to deeper trouble. What the hell is this? To be continued in chapter 7, Iron Tears. <laughs> so, I'm guessing she's got some emotional trauma then. Seems how it says Iron Tears. Uh, it's either her going to be crying or happy. Uh, but I'm guessing it's going to be her for more plot development. You don't want to give all the plot away the main characters right at the beginning. 
because you want to fresh them characters out throughout the story instead of giving it away. That way you can have more plot points. I think if you give away the main characters too early on, you kind of lose the subtlety. Like with One Piece, I'll give One Piece credit where it's due because the thing is, you didn't know that much about the characters, but that opened up a shitload more. Because it's like fucking 900 chapters later, let's say 800 chapters later, it turns out Sanji is a fucking prince. And it kind of fits in because you don't know that much about their past, which is good. Like My Hero Academia, you know, little snippets of their past. It is an entire biography of their past that some anime do or manga where it's an entire fucking load of their past. You kind of that open thing. Oh, I'm wearing my Space Dandy t-shirt as well. <laughs> so yeah, so it looks like that's the end of the chapter. Because I better have a click there, it's going to be chapter 8, isn't it? It's chapter 7. Yes, chapter 7. So let's have a look. It's definitely set it up by introducing him again. <laughs> it's like, yeah! <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a space type game let's say movie but also has the mechanics of a game and an RPG you knew that they were going to meet him again though because it's kind of in the waterworks look at him with them fingers that's, that's got to be cheating that has but then again look at them dope bloody keyboards Jesus Christ you got to wonder if they meet their if they could meet their own parents <laughs> So sh her parents probably won't be alive yet, neither would his, because it's 50 years, isn't it? The grandparents, yes. Friends. Enemy. <laughs> the chances of him sitting right next to us, I was expecting kind of a chase sequence where they're just chasing him to try and catch up with him. But yes, bunnies. It does remind me of like an anime version of Star Wars, though. It's quite a decent chapter, I've got to say that. Because it's kind of setting up the plot point. It's kind of, he's here. And I'm guessing he's going to have something to do with the robot. The robot's probably got a traumatic past. <laughs> That's still fucking funny. Due to what the bloke... That bloke's probably done something to her. And he's probably going to set them straight. Because usually that's how they set these things up. And she's most definitely going to become a companion or die or thing you die protecting them or something like that oh it might come down later in the line because i bet he's gonna join them there's no way he isn't joining them because come on you know he is he's in the front cover so yes this has been animal life and if you like if you like to comment a damn blue or to subscribe button that's gonna try to grow for now it's time to say goodbye and i'll see you this one uh, bye bye Hey, since you're here, why not check out another video? You can do vag videos, gameplays, and unboxing. I also do DeviantArt, Twitter, and Twitch. And a lot of live streams, so remember to catch me live if you want to see more of my craziness. Also, remember to subscribe to come on Animal Lifer. That's the Animal Lifer for life. Also, remember to like the video. And turn on the notifications so that you can get to see my videos first.